Today I want to talk about a very strange kind of debugging called rubber ducking. As programmers we probably all know the problem. We have written a complex program with a lot of code and then an error occurs during testing. But the big issue is that we cannot identify the error. So we don't know where the problem is coming from. We must dive into the code in search of the bug. So we search for the error in our code for hours try to figure out logically how our program is structured and where the error could come from. This is exactly where rubber ducking can be a very good helper. The rubber ducking method is actually a pretty simple way of debugging your code, but a very, very effective one. Before we talk in detail about the rubber ducking method, I would like to present you with a very pleasant alternative for debugging your code if you're a Java developer. It's Jay Sparrow, your Java refactoring partner. With this brilliant tool for Maven and Eclipse IDE, you can easily remove bugs, code smell, dead code, improve security issues and remove redundant code all with just one click. JSparrow is a rule-based refactoring tool, which means that you can decide what exactly will change in your code by selecting the rules you want to apply before the changes are actually implemented. JSparrow has saved multiple tens of thousands of hours in a variety of open source projects, removed thousands of bugs and 100% can help you save time, money and nerves by finding the issues in your code and fixing them automatically for you. Use your valuable time for implementation of new code and leave the annoying bug search to JSparrow. Let's jump back to the rubber ducking method. If you want to find a small error manually or simply just want to learn about different ways of debugging, the rubber ducking method is really easily explained. You just take a rubber ducky and put it in front of your computer and then try to explain the code step by step to the ducky in normal human language. So you go through your program line by line and explain the program to the duck. Now some of you might be wondering why should you do it and might think that the whole thing seems totally silly. But rubber ducking is actually a very effective way of debugging your code. Because if you explain your code to the duckling, line by line in normal human language, then you go through your code intensively and then it very often happens that you can find the error yourself. Because you explain the code line for line and then at some stage you realize, wait a minute, here at this point something could be wrong. This way of debugging is actually practiced by thousands of programmers worldwide and if you search for rubber ducks on Amazon or similar online shops and read the reviews, you very often see comments of someone who bought this duck exactly for rubber duck debugging. It is not only very effective but also a very funny way to tackle an otherwise frustrating situation. The origin of this method can be found in a software engineering book called The Pragmatic Programmer by Andrew Hunt and David Thomas. There is a story about the programmer who once had a rubber duck with him. Now some of you are probably wondering if you absolutely need the duck for this. In fact, you can of course also use any other object you like or even imagine an object without it actually being there. But it is best if the object represents a living being to which you can explain the whole thing. Of course you could also have a real human being help you, but of course it's not always possible to have someone with you who is willing to listen to you explaining your entire code. Definitely it is also not an advantage if you always rely on the help of someone else when debugging. That's why it's best if you just take your duck along with it. Plus, if you work remote from your home office you might also find a good use for your rubber duck as a bathtub companion after a hard day of debugging. So that's it with the rubber ducking method. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have your own debugging strategies, please let me know in the comments and also let me know if you already own a rubber duck and use it for rubber ducking. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and I would be very happy for a thumbs up too. In this sense, I wish you a pleasant day and have fun programming. Goodbye!